So people want to say that the worst big three of all time is LeBron, AD, and Russell Westbrook. Honestly, I'm not going to say they're wrong. Those three guys, people thought they weren't going to fit at the time, and they've been really bad. But another candidate for the worst big three was 10 years ago for the Los Angeles Lakers. A big three of Steve Nash, who was just coming off an all-star year, Kobe Bryant, and then they got Dwight Howard, who was the best big man in basketball at the time. Steve Nash was actually an 87 overall at the start of NBA 2K13. Kobe Bryant was a 93, and Dwight Howard was a 96. So, lads, 2K thought this team was going to be god tier. I remember that year in 2K playing out literally just being Lakers versus the big three Miami Heat. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're putting one video every single day in December. We are doing a daily December. I see some of the biggest videos that I will be uploading for the foreseeable future. We're trying to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if we could hit that, that'd be insane. But anyway, now let's get on to the video. So what I've done is I've put this big three in the NBA, the exact same ratings as they were, and put them on the Los Angeles Lakers to see if they could carry this Lakers team to a better record than they have right now. So the Lakers have already had a winning record, which is something that they did not have this season. It's not the greatest record in the world. To be fair, though, they do have a better start. Well, they have had a better start than the 2012-2013 Los Angeles Lakers did. Those guys fired their coach and for some reason hired Mike D'Antoni, which made absolutely zero sense at the time. And in hindsight, 10 years later, it makes less sense now. But Kendrick Nunn is out injured. Just like injuries are a big issue with the current Lakers team. Obviously, a back injury for Dwight kind of kept him out for a lot of that season. And obviously injuries to uh, to Kobe Bryant affected them in the playoffs. The guy tore his Achilles. And consider, like, that dude went and hit free throws right after it. I snapped my Achilles eight months ago. And my God, lads, I'm still struggling to jog. The fact that he came back to play in December was absolutely crazy. Like, I genuinely have so, have so much respect for Kobe going back because... I'm eight months later and my Achilles is still not even close to being right. So 26 and 16 coming into the new year. Like that's not a bad record. Let's see how the team is getting on in terms of player stats. So Dwight is averaging 32 and 16. Dwight's on track to win MVP. I'm not going to lie. He probably is going to win MVP. 32-17, 1 1.3 steals and 3.1 blocks. Like this is an MVP caliber year. Kobe 26 points, Nash 15. Imagine if they got this Dwight in LA. And instead of like genuinely Dwight Mare, where they just want, where he never even stayed. Okay, going towards the end of the season, there has been big time injury issues. Like somebody's getting injured every single week. But a great run by the looks of things to end the season. 51 wins. It's looking like they're going to probably win. They're not going to win 60 games. But you just never know. Like they're going to be close to it. Probably high 50s. So Luka winning MVP 35, 11, and 10. There is no way. There is no way that Dwight Howard didn't win MVP. Like, Luka's team are in the play-in. Luka's team are in the play-in. Dwight Howard averaged 31 and 17 with three blocks a game. At least he won Defensive Player of the Year and was an All-Star, I guess. He only made the All-NBA second team. What center made the All-NBA first team over a guy averaging 31 and 17, one and a half steals and three blocks a game for a team with the best record in the NBA? How did he not make the All-NBA first team? Kobe Bay was an All-Star, did not make an All-NBA team. And Steve Nash wasn't even an All-Star. Come on, Dallas. Oh, Dallas, you, you dodged this, Luka. You stole Dwight Howard's MVP. Couldn't care less about Austin Reeves picking up an injury. But you know what? You know who I want? I want Jokic. We're at Denver. Oh, Jokic making the All NBA first team as a center, and they didn't even make the playoffs or the play in. They were the 10th seed. Dwight Howard is. This is the Dwight Howard freaking revenge tour. Sweep. Sw oh, okay. Not a sweep. Oh, Luca, Luca, Luca. You done messed up now. Luca, you're facing off against the team where you. S oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. 3 1, even without Steve Nash. Even without the opposite team's orchestrator, their playmaker, 
Luca appears to be going down in the Dwight Howard Revenge Tour. All right, he's going to foul right away. They're just going to foul. This is game over. Dinwiddie fouled out. That's it. It's over. We go and beat, take down Luka Doncic right here. Let's see how who goes and wins. Who won finals MVP? Dwight Howard. 29-11. 70% of the field. 1.5 blocks per game. He is on a tear right now. He doesn't care. This is the Dwight Howard that the Lakers wanted to see in 2012. Not the Dwight Howard that um, I'm pretty sure Stephen A. Smith was quoted saying, looks like Tarzan plays like Jane. This is Dwight Howard out for revenge. We don't even have a backup point guard right now. Pop Bev's got to start point guard. And even with Pop Bev starting point guard, the Lakers are going to do it. They're going to do it. The worst big three of all time is going to significantly outperform the current big three they have. Okay, a loss in game four. It's fine, though. It's fine. Schroeder's back in the rotation. It's all good. Loss in game four doesn't matter because we go home at game five. They want to win in... I don't know what to call that arena because I'm not calling it the Crypto.com arena. In their home arena. Oh, maybe not. Is this going to seven? 37 seconds to go. Let me jump in right here. A three-point game. Do we have the ball? Let's go. We can jump in. It's Kobe being Bryant. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come off that screen. Dwight, you're there. You got him. Crabbed. Nope. One word. Six letters. We are. Oh, it's a two. You know what? I'll take the leaner. That's fine. We're out here taking leaners. One-point game. Okay. A huge defensive possession right here for Dwight. And we have let Kevin Love run right through. No, we're good. Thomas Bryant in the game is interesting. Obviously, Steve Nash is hurt. Hard double. Send the double. Send the double. Send the double. Make them make them make a move. We're there. We're waiting. We're waiting. Why would that's a clean block? This is rigged. This is rigged. That is as clean a block as you can have right here. That was clean. Ball, don't lie. Evan Mobley bricks the free throw. And he bricks two in a row. We're not calling time out. We've got time. We just need a two. We just need a two. Three. Two. Kobe puts up the lamp. And Kobe misses. Oh, I should have called the timeout. I had that one. I'm an idiot. One point win for Cleveland. This probably is going to a game seven. I guess we were going to win anyway. I guess we were on track to win anyway. But, uh, oh, man. Let's just say Lakers in six. Is that Lakers in five? And Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard out for freaking revenge right here. The guy balling out for the big three Los Angeles Lakers. So in a world where the current big three vanish, LeBron doesn't exist. Russell Westbrook doesn't exist. Is out of the league. I don't know. Maybe he's off playing in China or somewhere. Maybe he's playing for Shanghai Sharks. But an Anthony Davis... Screw it. Maybe out for the season. Maybe living up to that street clothes nickname. Let's just say LeBron retired. Anthony Davis. His street clothes and Westbrook's playing in China. But then we brought back the worst big three ever. At the ratings that they were at the time. And then they go and win a ring. Without Steve Nash. Because Dwight Howard. Clearly. Clearly the best player in the NBA. This prime Dwight Howard. Is just balling out. He's taking over. And... Sought for revenge after not only Luka beating him for MVP, but Jokic not making the playoffs and beating him for all NBA first team. Despite averaging 36 and 11, or say 31 and 17. He did only average 30 and 17 in the NBA finals. A little bit of a step down. But still, it was 30 and 17. These are Shaq esque numbers. So, yeah, that is the video, lads. What happens if we swap the big threes? The Lakers win the title somehow. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.